years ago today, a worldwide movement was born right here in Chicago. And later, an eternal flame for the Special Olympics will be lit after a ceremonial run and torch lighting. CBS News Mike Puccinelli joins us live from the museum campus with more. Hi, Mike. Hi, it was on this day back in 1968 when a thousand athletes from 26 states in Canada gathered at Soldier Field for the first ever Special Olympics. Now, 50 years later, the Special Olympics serves 5 million Special Olympians from all 50 states and 172 countries. The idea for the Special Olympics came from the former Park District gym coach, Ann Burke, who had an idea for a citywide Olympic style event. She teamed up with Kennedy family member Eunice Kennedy Schreiber, who was determined to turn Burke's brainchild into a global phenomenon. Now Burke, who's an Illinois Supreme Court justice, says she gets chills when she thinks about how big the Special Olympics have become since she and Schreiber founded them half a century ago. The goal was simple but revolutionary, to change the way the world viewed people with disabilities. It means that our children with differences should be in the world. They should be in the workplace. They should be in higher education. It's, it's just the psychological, psychological concept is that we're all equal. We have all differences. It's not even disabilities anymore, it's differences. And setup continues right now around the torch, which is called the Eternal Flame of Hope. Today's festivities include a torch run from 39th Street Beach, which gets underway at 10 o'clock this morning. Then there will be an Eternal Flame lighting ceremony beginning at 12:15 before the flame is lit here at 1 o'clock. And once it's lit, the plan is for it to never go out. Reporting live on the museum campus, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa, so exciting, Mike. All right, thank you.